And also, let's take a look at uh, that that Woodland over Dexter victory. I thought this really shaped, uh, shook up the, the Stoddard County Conference, Stoddard County Activities Association. And, uh, you know, Woodland right there, probably uh, one of the top couple teams in the Stoddard County right now with impressive victories so far this year. I thought Dexter, if they uh, put some wins together to start this year, Going into that Tuesday game with Bloomfield, if, uh, if they were managed to, to beat Bloomfield, they would be atop that Stoddard County Conference with the victories they've had already this year. They would be undefeated in conference play. Took that loss to Woodland last night, so Woodland uh, pretty much there at the top. But Bloomfield right there as well. Um, you know, um, yeah, Bloomfield beat Advance early in the year. Impressive victory by Bloomfield. So Advance has uh, already suffered a loss in the Stoddard County Conference. So Bloomfield's there still at the top. Woodland's right there in the mix as well at the top now that they've beaten Dexter. But uh, I really thought with Dexter coming off that impressive run in the Bloomfield Christmas Tournament, a lot of confidence. That would kind of springboard them to 2016 with some uh, conference victories and a big uh, you know, matchup there with Bloomfield. If they were to actually beat Bloomfield, they would be looking good for that seeding later on uh, come the, the, the Stoddard County Conference Tournament. But uh, they, sure, they took that loss to Woodland last night. Now it's pretty much Woodland and Bloomfield battling for that top spot in the Stoddard County Conference at this point. But uh, it's going to be a competitive conference this year. It was last year. It's going to be a lot like last year. You've probably got four teams that are going to mix it up for that potential Stoddard County Tournament victory uh, come later on this year. The Stoddard County Tournament is in Dexter this year, if that makes uh, any difference. But uh, it will be in Dexter You'll probably see right there in the mix, Bloomfield, Woodland, also uh, Dexter and Advance are probably going to be your four teams, but you can't count out teams that are going to be right there in the mix. Uh, you know, Bernie, you know, uh, you know, they've had a rough year, but I tell you, by the end of this year, they could give some teams fits there in the early rounds right there in the middle of the pack. You'll have to look out for them later on in the year. They're going to be a team to be reckoned with, but uh, very uh, two, four teams very capable of uh, pulling out the Stoddard County Conference Tournament this year. And uh, those first rounds, those top couple seeds will make a big difference. You don't want to play three tough games heading up to uh, that championship game, and especially you don't want to be any tough games early on where you're playing in overtime and playing some of those back-to-back -back nights. It makes it tough in those, those uh, conference tournaments when you're playing back-to-back -back nights. Certainly don't want to be going into overtime and... Uh, you know, playing into those back-to-back -back nights with overtime games. So I thought that game last night was uh, big for the Woodland Cardinals, sets them atop of uh, that conference. And, you know, Dexter going to have to kind of fight their way back up uh, into that conference. Got some tough games coming ahead, Bloomfield and Bernie this, this week. We'll see what happens. But uh, I think that really made the Stoddard County Conference uh, that much more interesting as it, always, as it already was. Uh, for Stoddard County. So we'll see how it plays out going forward.